I want to briefly speak on a topic that we don't find too many people talking about. As a matter of fact, I hadn't heard anyone talk about this particular topic, and that's satanically weaponizing relationship breakups. Now, what do I mean by that? There are so many females out there that reject the gay agenda. They have countless number of females that's always making passes at them. They'll flirt with them. They'll touch them in certain ways. And if you continue to do something repeatedly, as time go on, the guards of the resistant will begin to fall. And what I've noticed is whenever there's a relationship problem between a man and a woman, usually that breakup will be weaponized to pull you to the other side. What do I mean by that? Say, for example, your woman, and I'm talking to the fellas, say that your woman has a friend, a bestie, someone that she grew up with, someone that likes women. And this bestie had always been making passes at your woman when you're not around. She wants your woman so bad that she would try to find ways or excuses to pull you two apart. She would sit back and observe and look for weaknesses in the relationship and she would look for weaknesses in that man. And she would always target that weakness as an excuse to put negative images or thoughts or ideas in your woman's mind. She would make the lesbian relationship look like they never have problems. If you watch television, and usually when you see Two lesbians, they're smiling, they're, they, they look like or pretending to be free, they're pretending to be so much in love, they would make you think that they never have problems at all. But then in this series or show or movie, the woman that's living the straight life is having relationship problems. And she always go to her lesbian friend for comfort. The lesbian friend is giving her advice and telling her from a feminist perspective that you're better than that. You don't need him. You're beautiful. You're strong. And then they would show these two women cuddling on television. As time go on, in certain series, you would find that these two women end up making out. She end up using, or better yet, weaponizing the breakup of a relationship to... Promote your woman, better yet, to recruit your woman to the lesbian world. So, fellas, you need to be aware. You need to be alert. And this is not just for men. This is also for women. Because in the society that we're living in, we find that sodomy or sodomites are rewarded for being sodomites. We find that those that want 
to get into the industry or have a goal or dream to get into the industry, whether it's acting, rapping, singing, or what have you. The easiest route to be noticed is to become a sodomite. You're rewarded for that. Even when it comes to employment, so you have people that just about at the level of poverty or living in poverty, and it's hard for them to find a job, but the minute they convert or come to the lesbian side or homosexual side, then they find a job. Very good paying jobs at that. They're actually rewarded for being a sodomite. So that's the same way it is when it comes to a lot of these wep- a lot of these relationships. That when they have a problem, the problem is weaponized to draw you to the side to make the man look like he's no good. And that you could be a lot happier over here. So now we find that there are so many females out there that are now lesbians would say, I had a bad experience. I'm tired of these no good men. I'm tired of being cheated on. I'm tired of being taken advantage of. But I've conversed with so many lesbians that complained about relationships and being cheated on by another woman. There's females, and I talked about this in a past video, that was turned out by a lesbian. Because she, the lesbian, recruited her. She weaponized the downfall of her relationship, made her think that life being a lesbian was a lot pleasurable, was a lot happier, that there's real satisfaction on this side. And I'm sure many of you heard females say, A woman knows what a woman likes. A woman knows how to please and satisfy another woman. Because a woman knows the woman's body, not realizing that every woman is different. And the same thing goes for the male sodomite. Saying that a man knows what a man likes. And what they're doing is they're catering to your lustful desires. That woman that is lustful and want to experience that extreme heightened sexual arousal or pleasure, her mind begins to start thinking. And that's why we find in cases, and it's got to be lust because we find in cases now where you find beautiful women are submitting themselves to extremely ugly, overweight females. The type of females that a man would not give second thought to. But we're living in different times now, so you have a lot of desperate dudes out there to the point where they're actually sleeping with animals, so They would not mind sleeping with that female because they can't find a quality woman to get with in the first place. So she's just left up for grabs. So he just take what he can. But you find the most ugliest female with the most beautiful woman. And she like now puts on the performance that she's a man. She has to talk like she think a man talk or walk like she think a man walks or talks. But yet, this Femi finds it attractive because she catered to her lustful desires. 
The Bible says that a man or woman is drawn away when they're drawn away by their own lust and enticed. See, people love to blame things on the devil, but everything is not the devil. Most of your problems comes from choices and decisions that you made. Deep desires that you may, you had. Or silent desires that you had. And it just took the right person to come along and bring those desires out. The temptation of the devil. So, brothers, you have to be aware of who's around your woman. And women, you have to be aware of who's around your man because he may have a homeboy, a man's in them, as they say, that's got his eyes on your man. And he will begin to start whispering in your man's ear, telling him how, man, I wouldn't put up with that. She's a gold digger. She's no good, yada, yada, yada. Put negative thoughts in your mind and you're spending more time with your man. Your man's in them. And before you realize it, somebody is plugging somebody. But beware of who's around you because you just might have a snake in the mix that's breeding on, or better yet, feeding on your relationship struggles, the problems that you have, things that you don't like about your woman or things that your woman don't like about you, that snake is there to whisper and to let them know that you don't need them, that you can do bad all by yourself. And I'm sure many brothers heard that saying before. But you have lesbians out there, or better yet, sodomites, that weaponize. And see, that's why it's, it's not good. I always say birds of a feather flock together. And that's why if you are heterosexual, why would you hang around or keep company with those that don't share the same moral values that you share. Why would a homosexual man hang around a heterosexual man? And you have dudes that call themselves heterosexual that would say, that's my boy. He cool, man. He cool. He all right. I got friends that's gay. I got family that's gay. This is what he would say. And you have females that would say the same thing. Well, what you don't realize is you're opening yourself up to be turned out, to tur be turned inside out. So you have to be aware of who keeps company with the person you're with. Because that female that's always smiling, I want to say this before I end. And this is the sole purpose of this video. Brothers, beware of your woman's friends or your woman's besties that cut her eye at you, that smile at you, that's, that's dressing provocative around you, that's willing to give you some leg. Be careful of that chick because she just might be trying to set you up to prove to your woman that you are a dog. That you're not faithful. That you are no good. She's willing if she wants your woman that bad. Or if she wants your woman to break up with you. Because maybe she's got another bestie. That she's trying to set your woman up with. She's looking for weaknesses in you. And because of the fact that you always hanging out with your boys, you're never there for her, you're always working, you don't have time for her. And especially if you're coming up short with the finances. 
she may have a bill that you can't pay. But your she, your friend will come to the rescue. Her friend will come to the rescue and say, here's the money right here. I can loan it to you. I can give it to you. You can put it on my credit card if you like and just pay me when you get the money, when you get a chance. Well, that's another form of temptation. And then she would tell your girl, why are you waiting on him? Girl, you better pay your bill here. Take this. Pay your bills. So now she's taking your position. She's providing for your woman. She's providing in ways that you can't. That's slowly opening your woman up. And before you realize it, it's time for your woman to dump you. And you don't know why she just all of a sudden decide to let you go. I think it's best for us to just take some time out apart from each other. And you're trying to figure out what happened because you think your dick game is good. But you don't know that this lesbian came along and she had a dildo game, a tongue game. A finger game mixed all together and she turned your woman out. But what she did was use your weaknesses. She used your shortcomings. She used the weaknesses of your relationship to do it. She's whispering in your girl's ear and smiling in your face. Flirting around you, dressing provocative around you, even offered you up some leg or she gave you some head. And you think you're on the sneak tip, you think you're doing something and you don't realize you're like a sheep being led to the slaughter. You're the sacrifice. And before you realize it, she will be the one to expose you. She will leave clothing articles around your woman for your woman to find. And the minute your woman find those articles of clothing that may not even be the lesbians. She just left it there. A hair bow. A belt. Some underwear. And your woman trying to figure out who does these belong to. And then her bestie now comes to her aid, her rescue, consoling her. And now you pushed aside. So beware of those satanically weaponized relationship breakups. And the source of that breakup. Because someone was sitting around watching observing and a person that you feel comfortable talking about will take that same information you say to them and your boy is always not your boy because you're telling your boy everything and then your boy take it back to your woman and before you realize it he's digging your woman out and you're trying to figure out how that happened so feedback, tell me what you think. Till next time, I'm fearless.